today we are at Sustainable Food Center's Austin Farmers Market in downtown Austin. UT and Sustainable Food Center formed a partnership in 2005 and since then we've been working closely with them to feature locally grown foods on their menu. Most of the farmers that we buy from locally are also either organic or IPM, integrated pest management, so that they minimize their use of chemicals. Our family has been farming for at least four generations, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 plus years. We're not using herbicides no more or pesticides, but I really enjoy farming that way. We purchase a portion of all of our fresh fruits and vegetables from local vendors. We also purchase rice and flour and tortillas made right here in Austin from local markets. And of course, we support local markets, support local farmers, but more importantly, we cut out the transportation costs and uh, carbon footprint that goes with, uh, with those products. So every bite of food that you eat, it comes on an average 1,400 miles across the country or around the world. In general, the more processed the food is that you buy, the higher the carbon footprint. It has traveled further, more energy has gone into making it from one form to another to freezing it. The flavor's better, it's healthier for you. And of course, there's less fuel used to transport it. Your produce from your local grocery stores may have already been picked two to three weeks ago. This way you get stuff that was picked that day or the day before. Fresher's better. Texas Fresh Focus is an idea we came up with, so we decided to take a week of every month and focus on a different Texas agricultural product. We'll pick something that's produced in Texas, grown in Texas. We did a week of pecans. We just finished up a week of fresh strawberries out of Poteet, Texas. Sustainable Food Center works with a network of over 50 farmers and the chefs at UT fill out their order form, return it to me. I let the farmers know what to harvest and what to pack and ship. Then the farmers themselves drive up and deliver the produce to UT so the farmer can concentrate on farming, the chefs can concentrate on cooking, and that link has been made. We're done. We'll see you next week. Next week. All right. Appreciate it, Steve. We'll see you later on. The University of Texas is such a huge institution, but if they can demonstrate the flexibility to incorporate local food and to work with local farmers, I think any institution can.